The Secret Life of Bees is a book that has been sold to over 6 million people. The author is joining us right now and I couldn't be happier. She's out with her brand new book, The Invention of Wings, and it has already received acclaim from the New York Times and Oprah. Wow, that has to have you so excited. That was not bad. I'm pretty pleased, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm thrilled for you and Sue, I'm so glad you're with us. I saw in a interview you did recently that I'd love you to share more about was a phrase that you said, empathy is the mysterious transaction. What did you mean? Well, I think it is an amazing thing that goes on inside of a human being that we don't fully appreciate when we're able to take our own hearts and minds and souls and drop into the life of another person and uh, feel with their heart, see with their eyes. I mean, this is one of the closest things to compassion, I think, that we can experience. It's maybe the portal to compassion. So, um, yeah, I think it is a mystery because it's something that we can't fully explain, but it goes on inside the soul. Um, and it's a wonderful thing for readers and writers. Sue, so I love how you said that. How are you able to see the world from the bottom up? Well, I think every day when you're writing, you're trying to have an empathetic experience with your characters. You know, I try to become them as much as I can to imagine how they feel in the world. It's really about the beating heart, you know, the feeling heart of the character. And um, so it's best to look from the bottom up. And by that, I mean all of the people, the characters that are marginalized or lost to us. It's the writer's responsibility in a way to give them a voice, to give them a story so that we can experience other lives. Well, Sue, let's turn right to your new book, The Invention of Wings. Let me ask you, why did you decide to start it out in 1803? Well, I discovered these characters, these real historical figures of Sarah and Angelina Grimke, and I was completely uh, swept away by their lives, their courage, their daring. I mean, here are two Southern women from Charleston in the early 19th century who go on to become the first female abolition agents in America and women's rights pioneers. I mean, who would think? And um, they were, their courage took my breath and I wanted to write about them. And so I began this story, the novel, by Sarah Grimke being given an enslaved girl these are two children, actually. It was on Sarah's 11th birthday. She is given a 10-year-old slave as her handmaid. And that is what joins them forever, connects their lives, and really brings about the whole narrative flow of this novel. Now, one of the narratives in the book is from a young black girl's perspective. And you've received acclaim in being able to do it so well. How did you do that? Well, it's um, not... I won't say that it wasn't daunting for me to attempt that, um, but I felt really compelled to do it. And um, I could hear her voice in my head. I felt like she had a lot to say to me, and I just wanted very much to represent her with dignity and authenticity and to um, allow her to have a story. So I, I hope it worked. Well, Sue, I'm so glad the book is out. I highly recommend it to everyone, The Invention of Wings. Let me ask in closing, though, given your tremendous success, what advice would you share with the rest of us that you've learned along your journey? I think one of the things that I carry with me all the time as um, an author is to be very grateful for this experience and to not ask what else, but just to be with what is. And that's been a good life lesson for me. And then as far as being a writer, not an author, because these are often two different things, but as far as being a writer, um, I, I've just learned to um, be daring on the page, to believe in what I'm doing, and just do it with my whole heart. Well, thank you for living it. We get to enjoy it. Thank you for this new book, The Invention of Wings. God bless you, and thanks for joining us again. Thank you so much. So nice to talk to Sue. We'll be right back with more Get Connected. Thank <laughs> you.